Tom Croker. Back in the <sighs> Diane! Stop right there, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Huh. Back off! <gasps> Don't touch me! <sighs> Damn it, Nick. Man, a literal death grip. I requested and Thomas will need a body bag too. Don't do it again, Thomas. Please don't. There's no toilets here. Nick, quiet. <laughs> Shut up, Nick. Can you hear that? You guys will have to tell me. I'll have my hearing aids in. Hmm. Oh, great. Willie's here. All of a sudden, Willie's here. Someone just died. Hmm. I think he wants us to follow him. Shall we follow Zack? I mean, what else are we gonna do right now? Yes, oh god, someone just fucking died again. Nick, you asshole. Quite friendly, my ass. Diane. Why? Why is your face all black? Oh, Diane. Probably, like, bruised or something. Should we have, like, handcuffs on Nick or someone? Some something? Am I gonna save? Like, Jesus Christ. Tom is gonna go, Blah. I caught an ambulance, but I have to sneeze. False alarm. I know, keep an eye on George and Nick. We might still need it. Make sure no one touches Diane. Oh, make sure no one touches Diane's body either. Come on, Thomas, perk up. You okay? York, I can still feel her hand. Yeah, she had a death grip on you. Emily, it's okay. Just try to stay calm. Going after Willie. You just take it easy here, okay? York. Sorry. It'll be okay, Emily. I was gonna talk to George. Where are you going, Willie? All right, I'll follow him. Let me... Let's talk to him. You okay, George? Diane, we did what we could, but we still lost her. It wasn't all your fault, George. I'll go and see what Willie wants to show us. And I'll leave the rest to you. Yes. Okay. Sorry, George. You hulked out there for a minute. Where are you taking us, Willie?
You could probably deduce where he's going. Where are we going, bud? You know, now that I think about it, he's pretty small for a Dalmatian. Dalmatians are usually pretty large. At least larger than this. I mean, obviously they're not the size of, like, Great Danes. Great Danes are, like, fucking beasts. Let's go, Willy. With the hokey dokey music after someone died. Where are you going, buddy? I wonder who on the development team gave like had like their dog do the voice work for Willy. Or if they're just like stock dog sounds. Come on, Willy. I have a good idea where you're taking me. I mean, we follow the blood. It's blood that goes everywhere. Why are we going in here? Ah, yes, we're going in here. Naturally. I really probably should have got another water like an hour ago. Throat's starting to be a little parched. In here, Willy? There's like a, there's like a gnat flying around. <laughs> it got warm again, which is unfortunate. I prefer the cold weather. <laughs> no bugs. Well, look at this place. Never understood how someone like lives in like a place like this. Like you live in a hotel or you live in an art gallery. Wouldn't it never feel like home? It feels too open. Maybe that's just me. I mean, I don't think I could do it. Maybe I could, I don't know. See, this looks a little more cozy. It's still pretty... pretty big, though. Like... This doesn't really feel like a room. A uh, close inspection, there are tracks on the floor. Grooves, perhaps. Might be able to move this, Zack. Yeah, push it. Do I have to hold it? What the hell's happening? Yeah, I do. <clears throat> Would you look at that? Where's Willy? Hey, Willy. Is there, like, anything I can inspect around here? Aha, this is where it happened. There's a stabilizer. Sweet. That's, like, so high up. How the fuck did she get to that? She's got, like, a pyramid of toilet paper. I don't know. You tell me if you'd be able to do this. I don't know if I could. I might be able to. Willie, are you out there? Kason, what are you doing in there? York, is that you? Thank God, I can't get this door open. Can you unlock it from your side? Kason, stand away from the door. Look at that, he's got a little lipstick on his cheek. Wonder what he has to say about this. Where's Diane? And what are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same thing. Well, let's just say I have my reasons, you know, pri private reasons. I don't really have to tell you, do I? Actually, you do. Diane just died a moment ago. What? You're not just a key witness now. You're now a suspect. And you need to tell me exactly what you were doing here. Well, I just... I just came here to talk with Diane. 
to have a conversation. And I suppose that kiss mark on your cheek is from your conversation. This was just a spur of the moment thing. Which is exactly what killed Diane. Okay, okay. I came here to be with Diane. You happy now? We've been together before, a, a, a couple times. It's one of the reasons why I like coming to this town, see? This time is no different. I, I, I bumped into her in a bar in Seattle. I had some, some holiday coming up. Well, so, so I just took it and I drove her back here. I have a wife, you know, but, but we've been separated for a while. We're going through a divorce right now, and I don't want her lawyer finding out. Anyway, how could I kill Diane if I was in a room locked from the outside? Two hours ago, me and Diane, we were taking it easy, drinking upstairs. We were, you know, enjoying ourselves. Then Nick had to show up. Well, then Diane had a sudden change of heart. She locked me up in here. I've just been here, waiting for her to come back, of course, but, but she didn't. I heard footsteps a couple of times, but they just passed by. Well, then I couldn't wait anymore, so I let Willie here out through the window. Then you showed up instead of Diane. How'd you get him through the window if you were locked in there? Have someone walk by here if it was behind a bookcase. Zach, Diane has become the third victim of our killer. I know, it sucks. And nada from questioning Nick. Nothing. Got no new leads from questioning Nick. He's taken the death of Diane really badly. In shock, the works. He claims to have liked talking with her about art but he also had a problem with her views about men. He says that they argued, but not at a level that would lead to a murder. They were about to head out to the bar again together, but while he was waiting for Diane, someone knocked him out cold. He has no idea who it was either. Of course, Kaysen looks like a prime suspect, but that door was locked from the outside. There was no other way in or out of that room which means there is no evidence of his involvement at this time. He did say something else. The footsteps he heard outside the room were not heels, but a man's boots. And Nick was wearing boots. But now that Diane's dead, no one can back up Nick's statement, which is why we have Nick in custody and have to let Kaysen go free. That seemed like the only option, at least for now. One more thing, Zach. George looked terribly depressed. I guess this case is really getting to him. He's feeling responsible for the deaths of Becky and Diane. Take his rules and confidence away from him? I wonder what's left. Well, of course, he'd still have muscle. Oh, of course he would take it hard. Three people died on his watch. 236. Man, there was a lot of enemies. 20 plus 2,600. Two now we're getting back up to 15k again. Alright, I wonder what's coming next. Quite... Quite a turn of events that's happened. People are just dying left, right, and center. I, Diane, Becky, Anna, <clears throat> everyone. Zach, let's get back to the hotel. First Anna, then Becky, now Diane. I'm not looking forward to writing this investigation report. Man, who would? Agent Morgan. York. Do you have a moment? What is it, George? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you have any time later? Can't we just do it here? If possible, I'd like to go to a bar. 
Of course, we don't really have to. A bar? Now that sounds like a good idea. Zack, what do you think? We can go drinking with George, or turn him down and head back to the hotel. Now let's go for a drink. Let's do that. Let's bond. Let's do some male bonding. Right here and now, in a bar. Episode 2, Part 2. George, that 13 scar passed. on your cheek. Where did you get it? This? Didn't I tell you? Well, it's not from work. I got it when I was a kid. A childhood injury. Tree climbing? I used to get a few scrapes myself climbing the big tree in our backyard. I used to climb it a lot. And fall out of it a lot. <laughs> this wasn't anything like that, though. It was my mother. She did it. I'm sorry, George. Don't worry. It's ancient history. The world is flooded with unreasonable violence. The strong overpower the weak, adults over children, men over women, and criminals over their victims. I have no memories of my father. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. And it didn't stop there. If I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud, she found reasons to hit me. Hit me bad. The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She'd whip my back with these thin tree branches like a whip. Tree punishment was definitely the worst, I tell you. Just hearing those words used to make me shiver and want to pass out. And that's why I didn't want to show you those scars on my back. Every time after the tree punishment, she'd always say the same thing. This is hurting the tree more than it is hurting you. And me, being a naive, dumb kid, I believed her. I went to the woods to apologize to the trees. I kept asking myself, why is she hurting me this way? I thought long and hard about it. In the end, I just figured I'm weaker than her. That's why. It's the law of Mother Nature at work. The strong eat the weak. But now, you have the power to protect the weak. That's right. Perhaps I should thank my mother for guiding me into this line of work. York. I've been an arrogant fool, haven't I? And if it weren't for me, both Becky and Diane would still be alive. I could have saved them both. You know, it's almost like they died because of me. You're out of your mind. I invited you to this bar for a drink. But I guess this bar is my confession chamber, and I wanted you to listen. And to tell you, well, you must already hate me for causing all these problems not following your orders. York, I'm sorry. I'll follow your orders from now on. You'll have my total cooperation. George, you've been as cooperative as you can be. You even invited an FBI guy to a bar for drinks. You've done a good job protecting this town. And the folks here respect you for that. Nobody can blame you for anything. Thanks. I do feel a little better. Well, that was some nice bonding with George. Really nice. He actually called us York for once. Since we're here, why don't you talk to a few other people? I'll just finish off my drink. Let me know before you leave, okay? 
Hey, I mean, you're going to be my fast travel back to the hotel. <laughs> oh, there's Carol. Looks like there's someone up there. I'm going to save real quick, because I'm actually done for the night. Don't want to save? Yes, I do. Alrighty. Yeah, that'll do it for me today, guys. When we come back, we'll talk to people in the bar. We got Carol. There's a couple of other people I know we can talk to. I think it's mainly Carol. And then we'll go back to the hotel. We will do our investigation report. But that'll be for next time. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching and checking in. If you did enjoy the videos, always let me know down in the comments section below. I look forward to reading anything that I do get. But I hope each and every one of you had a fantastic day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.